a big genius too. Oh, let's go meet him. Let's see his blueprint. All right. It's opposite day. I love opposite Look, day. There he is. Let's take a picture yeah. with him. Can we get a picture, genius? Polaroid picture gonna snap me in your frames. Ever since I came in, knew I would wreck the game. Uh, the day I met the microphone, shit, life ain't been the same. No. Intellect on cosmic levels was born with two brains. Yeah. Yeah. Sumo higher than a NASA astronaut. Yeah. Saying that they better than me, knowing that they ass is not. I've been working hard, don't even got the time to stare at class. Welcome to Even Earths. Uh, today I am with uh, Ivan and we are unboxing G2 Max. Wow. <laughs> uh, just show us what you got uh, with the box. The air pump. Ah, I got some tool, tools here. And this here, it's really packed well. It's so it's a 48 volt scooter yeah. with uh, two, two amps, amps yes. charging. Charger, pump, tools, and a menu. We just bolted this four screws. And that's it. The scooter comes pre-assembled. Hey Michael, let's go take it for a spin. Nothing down. I've been out here trying to put on for the town. Financially, I'm getting penny wiser. Minus the clown, cause I don't joker, but I got a Harley Quinn riding with me. Do you get me? If you don't, you need some big brain energy. I'm in a little my jeans. Let's start again. One, two, three. Go. Fifty-four. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so that's close to advertised speed. So it goes 55, but GPS will probably show it's 42 or something like that. That's nowhere close 55. Okay. So the speed test is finished. We got uh, results I was hoping for, so we did manage to get to 55. Now I know that uh, it's all about settings. The scooter is set up uh, to show 55, but the actual speed is probably 42, as I said before. And that's really not bad for this scooter. There's no need for this scooter to go 55. So we have three modes on the scooter. Uh, 15 kilometer, 32 kilometer, and maximum kilometers. So in each of these three modes, uh, not only the speed, but the power is limited too. When you are in, in second mode, this scooter feels like a 600 watt scooter. And uh, it doesn't have so much torque as, as in the third mode, which is great because actually if you need 32 kilometers per hour, you are probably somewhere in the city and you don't want this torque to move you uh, just by pushing the throttle. So the thumb throttle right so it's much easier to handle the situations with lots of pedestrians uh because this scooter is not going to accelerate so fast okay now we'll try how the brakes hold on this scooter but... Woo! The disc brakes are mechanical disc brakes and they have the cooling fins which means that uh, if uh, you extensively brake uh, it will be much easier to, uh, for the heating to, to go out. The Vuxing brakes work uh, really good, they are mechanical but uh, like in this range, in mid-budget range, don't expect more than mechanical brakes. Uh, and also for the speed up to 42, 43 kilometers per hour, uh, if you, you don't really need more than mechanical brakes. Uh, I heard some rumors that Wacken will make a second version with hydraulic brakes, tubeless tires, and also uh, higher peak power. But for me, this is 100% what it's supposed to be. 
Uh, if I were lucky, I wouldn't do the second version. The responsiveness version. and the way the controller works, it reminds me of uh, it reminds me of Water Motors cruiser. So it's very responsive. It's very easy to go left and right without shifting a lot of weight. Uh, it feels awesome. Uh, I'm very surprised because this one is like a mid-budget scooter and it uh, feels really good. It's actually a great start for Lucky & Company to launch their own brand. This scooter gives you 100% of the power all the time. It doesn't limit the speed. So if the voltage drops, uh, speed drops a bit all the time. But then again, you have to think more about how much battery you have left, because at certain point you can be walking home just like me. I like that much better than limiting myself to go only 20 kilometers per hour, because I want my kilometers to have as much as power as I can have. Like, give me those 20 kilometers, you know, just give them. I want to have 100% of what I can have and have fun. I don't want to be a goddamn turtle. Just think about it when you're driving uh, so you don't have to walk home. Because walking home when you're going with a scooter is any fun. This scooter can uh, output maximum power all the time and it doesn't limit the speed. And therefore, it doesn't save the battery with your last 15 kilometers or something like that. So you have the full speed all the time. So, uh, the percentages on display are really not that accurate. So, right now, luckily I'm close to home. These are two brothers. Uh, this one is a smaller brother, it's G2 Max, and this one is G3 Pro. G3 Pro will be reviewed in the next video. So, let me introduce you to some highlights of this scooter. The scooter has a dual suspension. It's a regular spring-based suspension, and it feels really, really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. It's better than V set 8 and V set 9 suspension, which is great because this one is less pricey. Uh, coil suspension, spring suspension, much better than uh, the inlet rubber suspension they had before. And you can really feel it, and the shocks are not bottoming out. So, uh, the deck is, has enough clearance for your legs, and it will be good enough for people who are up to 192. Uh, above that, they should buy like V set 11s and stuff like that, scooters that have much bigger deck. Uh, there's enough clearance uh, from the floor uh, to the deck, so it's pretty high. The newest folding mechanism is reliable, it's secure, and it works great. And if it's unlocked, the thing cannot fall down. You need to release this and press it down. Uh, when you do that, You've got this, which locks in here, and then you can easily lift the scooter. Joker, but I got a Harley Quinn riding with me. Do you get me? If you don't, you need some big brain energy. I'm in the lab on my jeans. You know that she's feeling this energy. I do not rock with my enemies. Told them don't touch me because they have no chemistry. Chemical mix. Charging port, smartly made. Water cannot get in. It's not rubber, so it doesn't open while riding. Uh. Yeah, this is the charging port I've been talking about. So the charging takes around 8 to 10 hours. Uh, the capacity is 70 and a half uh, amp hours. Uh, what else? What can I tell you? Yeah, like the motor is here. It's the same motor, motor on Kugo's version. Uh, so actually it's the same scooter. The only difference between this one and the Kugo version is in the colors. Kugo has 20 amp hour battery, this one has 17 and a half amp hour battery, so that's that's practically the same scooter. This one is will cost less because of this two and a half amp hours less. Uh, that's great. <coughs> also, it has uh, four screws. These four screws are for seat. Uh, this one does not include the seat. The Kugo's version includes the seat. That's that. So the scooter starts like this. You turn the key. After that, you press it here, this is first mode, second mode, third mode. On the screen you have the speed, the voltage, the mode you are in. Uh, also you have the percentage of the battery. 
it's a non-single mode because it's a single uh, motor. Uh, you have the trip and the other meter and of course the cruise control mode which uh, stands here so you which is here so you know uh, when it's turned on or not it's blinking then you have the on and off switch for the lights you can check out here how the lights work this is left and right so when it's blinking uh, this side is blinking and on the front part if you can see, holding up some. On the front part, this part is blinking, and this one actually doesn't have a function. Um, and the horn. This horn is very, not really loud, but it's good enough. It exists. It's here. Uh, also, the bolts. You can use them to secure your foot uh, and lock it in place. It works great. I love the rubber on this deck, it's awesome, uh, it's all I would ever want from the deck. Uh, so this scooter, they say it's IPX5, on some places they say it's IPX4, uh, the manufacturer, I did not test them, so I, anyways, I, uh, I advise you not to ride this scooter over the rain, uh, because even those IPX5 and 6 scooters, uh, sometimes gets damaged by water ingress and there are lots of bolts of these parts these parts many bolts and so on it's not uh, waterproof on this scooter you can very easily adjust the height and this is the best mechanism so far because it has somehow a triangular shape and it's like the materials are really good this is stiff when you move the scooter and you press this back this one never goes left and right uh, like you do not feel any play on it and it locks back into place you can do that uh, in three points one two three so you have like three stages of height uh, the mud guards the mud guards are wide and even though i went through some serious dirt never really got anything on myself so i will conclude the mud guards are wide enough uh, some of the reviewers really like to talk about these mud guards and uh, find them very interesting uh, i don't uh, i don't care if i get some dirt on my ass but these particular mud guards are, are really really good actually this is vlakin scooter vlakin is a company or let's say a manufacturer a subordinary of uh, titan group that uh, makes the zero scooters as well i don't know go me stop stop me go up me down down me up that mean i can't shut up no shit is going worse do it mean it's getting better oh. to the auto tune trying to do what you rappers do i can't hit a no like <clears throat> enough of that i'm making noise like a thunderclap <laughs> now i'm running less over these rappers i feel like i'm running back the Kugo Block and G2 Max is an absolutely incredible scooter that truly shines in every aspect of this review. The build is rock solid, boosting dual suspension shocks that work flawlessly for individuals weighing over 100 kg. With 10 inch wheels and all round tires you can easily leap off curbs and tackle any terrain with ease. The display is elegantly simple, showcasing all relevant information without any glare on a sunny day. And when the sun goes down, the screen becomes brilliantly illuminated. Gone are the days of stem or folding issues that previous scooter generations had. These mechanisms have been perfected and crafted with the utmost quality in this machine. With a 48 volt 17 and amp hour battery, you can expect to get around 35 kilometers in combined driving. That's around 5 to 6 kilometers less than what you would get with Kugo's version. The power of this scooter is simply stunning, capable of reaching speeds of up to 45 kilometers per hour. And with a price range between $890 and $1000, we are confident that there is simply no competition on the market for a smaller scooter of this caliber. The top 5 things we love about these scooters are the quality of all mechanical components, the fluid throttle, great brakes, seat suspension and a weight below 30 kg. However, there are a few areas where improvement could be made. The included pump and tools are of a low quality and will likely break soon. And the charger could benefit from being 3 amps to reduce charging time to 5 hours. 
Lastly, the left and right turn signals on the front should be visible on the left and right side of the scooter rather than just being on the front. Oh damn, I almost forgot. So thanks to Vlog and Company for sending this unit and the G3 Pro for me to review it. Thank you very much. I really like the scooter. Thanks to my friends, Miha, who was also driving these scooters. Pero, who was driving these scooters. Uh, Laura, who was driving these scooters. And also thanks to my friend, Leo, who you will see in the next review. Laura, Pero, Miha, thank you all uh, for kicking it with me. Hope you enjoyed it like I did. And thank you. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, 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 and subscribe, like, okay, so, like, if you want to like and subscribe, like, you can do this, like, you know, like, 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 yeah, and this is how Croatian speaks English, it's, It's pathetic. Don't you agree? Like, like. Do you agree? You like, you like, you subscribe, like. Pathetic, right? Okay, bye-bye. See you on the next one.